and uh, thank you, Vicky. Thank you, Tahira, for giving me this platform to to speak about um, my truth. Like Tahira said, um, I love to write, but I I am not really used to talking. It's like everything flows in my brain, but it doesn't really just come out when I talk. And like Vicky said be before we started, it's like there's a flow. And it kind of surprised me because what Judy was telling is about purpose. And that's actually the topic that I um, chose to uh, speak about. When, when Tahira mentioned that we have this speaking event for HIT about transformation, I watched the videos and I asked myself so many questions like, what is really transformation? And then I realized that what I was writing, the, the current book that I'm writing is actually about change and transformation. I realized is change that begins actually with us with whatever endeavor or whatever we want to do or whatever we want to achieve it has to start with us and it's about liberating your mind before you can actually do something worth in in its outcome so what i want to share with you are questions that made me question myself as well and made me question what is the purpose of what I am doing. So um, when I was like researching about my book, I encountered questions like, have you ever felt this feeling like you've been running in circles? And you've done so many things in your life, you've achieved so many things in your life, but still, you feel like when you're at that peak or when you achieve it, it's still not that. You feel like you're empty or the dream that you've been chasing all along. And then when you reach that, you somehow feel like it's not it and you're still lost. You, you still don't know that part of yourself. Or there are moments like, I wanted to share my truth, but then I'm scared. I don't know how to push through. I don't know what to do to like continue to achieve something. And then um, I found out that one of the reasons why I'm blocked to reaching that potential is because I don't really know the purpose of what I'm doing. I, I found out that purpose is like, when you find fulfillment in what you do and when you just keep doing things, but you don't really know what your purpose is. It's like you're like going in so many directions without, without a goal. And in my case, it even, it even happened the other way around. I did something first and then that made me realize my purpose. Um, and it started really, with my journey with Golden Door, when, when they started telling me to do this, write this, it made me question um, myself and what I am really doing. The, the poetry book that I wrote before is about my depression time. I'm having this postpartum depression as a mom. And then I thought that writing the truth in that book sharing the stories of how of how vulnerable someone can be and how one can find the strength by accepting that vulnerability i thought that was like already it the purpose of the book and all that but the goldie with jordan door with golden door made me realize that there's something more to that writing the truth is like the medium and then finding the purpose for that book was like the fulfillment. Finding readers who, who found like, um, finding readers who found like joy or hope or inspiration and then getting messages that they say, 
thank you for these words of inspiration. It has made my day. That is kind of like of that I discovered. That was like the purpose of of the book, and that it it made my journey have like a meaning to it. And then it doesn't feel like hollow anymore. Like, yeah, you've reached that part, you've done it, you've publicized it, people started buying it, but then there's like no value in it. So I found like finding your purpose is like finding the fulfillment by looking at the value that you can do. And um, on that journey, while well, I'm on that journey with the first book, I wrote my second book. And this is, I think, a little bit more difficult to talk about than the first one because the book is titled AO. It's um, for Educate Your Opinion. And um, while I was doing research and surveys and asking people to share their stories to me so I understand what to write in the book as well, um, they're like a very mixed response. Some people say it's too much. Some people say it's liberating. And then I questioned again the purpose of, of why I wanted this truth to be out there. And then I realized that when, when I ask myself these questions, it kind of helped me like find my way to really do what I feel like has to be done. And I think as a writer, when, when you write something which is true to yourself, you really never regret writing it, it no matter what the consequences is. It. So um, I, I found that asking myself small questions leads me to rewarding answers. Like the first was, what is important for me? Why do I really want to publish this book? And then um, the second one is, what am I passionate about? What makes me happy? Because I think that also serves like a question to your purpose. If, if you're not happy with what you're doing, it's like the energy is going to be blocked. And then the third one is, um, what do you want to achieve really? In, in all this that you want to do. And um, by answering these three small questions, and I even thought it, it actually can evolve. This, this um, purpose evolves with the truth that you find in your life. So it doesn't have to be like just one. And once, once, I once you find that purpose or once I found that purpose, it, gave value to what I am doing and it gives it gave meaning to what I am doing and then it then lead me to believe that what I am doing is something good and what I am doing can bring hope and transformation to other people and despite this topic of the AO which is all about stereotyping um stereotyping, labeling, refuting those labels, and all that, despite the difficulty of telling people what it is about and the detrimental effects it has, I was able to push through because I found my purpose.